Hey yo, what's good? It's your boy Mixtape Moth, and today I'm gonna hit y'all with a review of the new Jim Jones Gangsta Grills. We set the trans mixtape. Let's get to it. Alright, so Jim Jones is a rapper and businessman coming out of Harlem who could be described as one of the biggest overachievers in hip hop over the years. Jim Jones has honed his craft, sharpened his skills, and improved significantly since his early days with Dipset. But now, to kick off 2022, Jim Jones has linked with DJ Drama to drop his Gangsta Grills mixtape, which immediately brings back that mid to late 2000s mixtape energy. For this project, Jim Jones has enlisted a wide range of artists, some older, but mostly newer rappers who represent the trap and drill scene. Looking through the track list, you will not find any Dipset or any Griselda, rather a bunch of drill artists and rappers who are going to appeal to a lot of younger listeners. This thing contains a whopping 25 songs, which is pretty lengthy, and it lasts approximately an hour and 20 minutes. But with that being said, let me go ahead and just hit y'all with this track by track breakdown. The intro, Buckworth, is a Jim Jones solo where he raps over a funky sample. He appears confident, relaxed, and in his bag, talking about investing in Bitcoin and NFTs, which is a positive. I'll give him that. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty decent intro. Track two, Back Doe, has a cinematic, intense trap beat produced by a band play, which is dope. Uh, this features the Detroit rapper Icewear Vezo and Dave East. It's a trap banger, plain and simple, and one of the standouts from the album. Track three, Crunk Music, is an in-your-face drill record featuring Fabio Foran and Dida. Now, as far as drill tracks on this project go, it's the best one. What follows is the single, We Set the Trends, featuring Migos. The horns are epic, and as a whole, it just has that classic trap anthem feel. I have no complaints, as it's easily one of the top five songs from the mixtape. Track 5, Shots, is an up-tempo drill record featuring Ross Swish, Guapi, and Javon. It's something for the gym or when you want to get hype, but I don't have this as a highlight. Next is Stick Up featuring Dusty Locane and On Point Like OP, who are two Brooklyn artists heating up the New York drill scene. Dusty Locane is sure to give off strong pop smoke vibes. As a whole, it's a pretty decent track for what it is, which is standard BK Drill. Right after is Van Aki, which is set to a laid back wavy trap beat. It contains an auto tune hook from Liravelli, which didn't do a whole lot for me, uh, but you could tell they were likely trying to make another one of those Dykeman type anthems. Track nine is Pressure, which features the artist Pressa and Mac 11. This one has a sped up string sample that wasn't bad. It's got a gritty and suspenseful drill beat, but I don't have this as a highlight. Track 10 is Militant featuring Connie Diamond, Jim Jones, and Ross Swish. Now, despite liking the overused Welcome to Jam Rock sample, I think this is a pretty rudimentary drill record that I'm unlikely to revisit. Track 11, Fit Lit Betty White, is actually one of the better spots on the mixtape. It features the Workout Gang. And now, I know y'all have seen Jim Jones, Mano, Fab, and Dave East all getting it in in the gym working out together. This has a fly and mellow sample that everyone does a good job rapping over, so it's a dope song overall. Track 12 is Who Dat featuring Dice Peso and Keen Streets. The only thing that I remember is that it had an angry, aggressive drill beat, but unfortunately, it's nothing I'm gonna revisit. Now, check. 13, Record Me Baby, is one that caught my attention. This features Jim, Ball Greasy, and Fabio Foreign rapping over the same sample that was used for Mr. Cheeks' Lights Camera Action, so it's a fun, funky, and feel-good spot on the mixtape. Track 14, Water On Me, is a menacing trap record featuring two artists who Jim has worked with before, Peasy out of Detroit and Filthy Rich, Coming out of Oakland, it's a standard, eerie street record that I thought was solid. Track 15 is the skit Ray Ray, which is an instant skip. Uh, this leads into Doughboy, 
featuring Atlanta rapper Doughboy. And it has a spooky trap soundscape that was cool, but nothing too really interesting about this one. Track 17, How You Love Dad, has an up-tempo West Coast DJ Mustard kind of feel to the production. This features Pat Chanel, Yellow Tape, and Javon. And while I could appreciate the fun and bouncy energy, I'm unlikely to play this one again. Track 18 is Batman featuring VL Deck. This has DJ Drama introducing the Atlanta trap artist VL Deck. It has that signature Gangster Grills Atlanta aesthetic, so I didn't have any issues. Track 19 is Vamps featuring Sala Baby and Fat Flea. So while I dug the ghostly West Coast instrumental, I was a bit indifferent to this record. Fortunately, we end up getting a highlight for the following song, Bars, featuring Dave East. This finds Jim Jones and Dave East doing it ill back and forth over an atmospheric Boom Bat Beat, it's apparent that Dave East and Jim Jones have some chemistry together. Kind of like uh, Styles P and Dave East did on that beloved track. And this is definitely one you should check out. Afterwards is Shit Still featuring Gigs. This has a dark and nocturnal London drill beat that wasn't bad and I could actually see myself listening to it again. Track 22 is Lobby featuring Drama, Mano, Liravelli, and Hattie Rocks. It has a dope enough instrumental, but once again, a hook from Lyra Valley that wasn't one to write home about. Track 23 is Blessed featuring Trav and Keen Streets. We are getting a mellow and relaxing beat with strong West Coast vibes. I could almost envision Mozzie on this one, but yeah, as a whole, it's okay. The second to last track is Different Ways featuring Taki Trigger, Shooter 93, and Little Crowdy. The soul sample production is busy and very fitting for an artist like Papoose. Uh, it's not an awful track, but I found the hook to be a bit generic. Then the mixtape wraps up with Your Soul featuring Sob Calm and Ditta. Here we have a slower melodic trap instrumental that's serviceable, uh, but the auto-tune vocals make it rather run-of-the-mill. Overall, I give this project a rating of three mics. It has its moments, but for those expecting something on the level of, let's say, the Fraud Department or the Al Capo or the Al Capo Deluxe, uh, they are likely to be a little disappointed because this is just a different kind of release from Jim Jones altogether, uh, as it's clear that he wanted to try his hand at drill music and tap into that drill and trap scene, which in theory isn't a bad thing as it shows his desire as an older head uh, to stay in tune with what the youth are listening to and uh, what the younger street listeners are really feeling. And he's also using his platform to highlight some younger and lesser known artists, which is a positive thing that I can't hate on. That being said, uh, my only criticism with his direction or intent with this project is how he portrayed himself lyrically as he played right into a lot of the i hate to say it the negativity in drill music for instance on pretty much every track outside of the ones with fab mano and dave east jim jones was talking about spinning the block on his ops having younger shooters on deck it's just mad gun and murder bars and just every cliche concept associated with drill like jim was drilling heavy on these songs and to keep it a buck i honestly thought that was a little irresponsible of an artist of jim jones's age and stature to be doing this especially given the rising murder rates in all the cities across the U.S. Look, I'm not trying to judge the man or to sound like too much of an old head. It's just that I had hoped, possibly, that as an elder statesman and OG in hip-hop, Jim would have taken more of a positive leadership approach in these times and maybe talked about putting the guns down instead of uh, playing into the negativity. Now... As far as the album itself and how it came across sonically, I'd say it was a mixed bag. At 25 songs and with the plethora of guests that we got, 
How could it not be? I found some of the production to be a bit stale at times too. Now in fairness, there are some songs that would make a playlist or tracks that I would listen to while working out or when I'm on my way to work. Uh, but as a whole, I thought this mixtape could have been a little better. And I'm a Jim Jones fan too. I actually liked his last three or four projects. This thing started out strong and there were some dope songs here and there, but it definitely would have benefited from being trimmed down in size. My favorite tracks include Buckmouth, Back Doe, Crunk Music, We Set the Trends, Fit Lit, Betty White, Record Me, Water, On Me, and Bars. Let me know what you thought about this mixtape in the comment section below. It's your boy Mixtape Moth. I'm signing out, but be sure to hit that like button and please subscribe. As always, it's peace and blessings. Jim Jones, DJ Drama, Gangsta Grills, We Set the Trends. Wow.